Good morning, Saints. This is Brother Jack. I miss all of you, and I miss our fellowship. I have a short exhortation that I would like to share with you this morning. Our text is found in John 16, 32 and 33. Jesus said, Look, an hour is coming and has already come when you will be scattered, each to his own home, and you will leave me alone. Yet I'm not alone, because the Father is with me. In verse 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take courage, because I have overcome the world. Well, we have now been scattered to our homes. We appear to be isolated and alone. Jesus said, I'm not alone the Father is with me, and we are not alone either. He is with us. The, uh, though we are unable to fellowship as a group of believers, we are not alone. He is with us. Jesus has told us these things in advance, so he lovingly wanted to prepare our hearts so we would not fear, but instead walk in the peace of God. We know that he has overcome the world. We are his, and he is ours, and he is our peace. I remind you of these things, because he lives in you, you live in him. There is much tribulation in the world, but take courage, because he has overcome the world, and so have we. He is not of this world, and neither are we. We are simply passing through. Why is there so much anxiety and panic and fear in this world? Because they don't know him. It is muy importante as we go into the marketplace that we demonstrate the peace of God. We have been placed on the earth at this time for this very reason, to show forth his peace and the glory of God. Everybody is scared, but we are not scared because he gave us an advance warning. So calm yourself. Show God's loving peace and compassion. They need you to be steady because they are afraid. Be ready to testify of the hope that is in you. I thank God for each one of you. If I was with you, I would give you a big hug. However, circumstances beyond our control prevent that, but I'm with you in spirit. So give yourself a big hug from me and remember how much I love each one of you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for loving us. I thank you that you gave yourself for us. I thank you for providing all of our need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Help us be living examples of Christ during these trying times. We love you. Please continue to give our leaders wisdom. We come against the COVID-19 virus and command it to die in the name of Jesus. We worship you in Jesus' name. Here is your Friday's forecast. Today we have peace in Christ Jesus our Lord. Enjoy it. Walk in it. Love you guys. That's all for now. Have a blessed day.